Right, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, old schoolers. Welcome back to another video, and today we're gonna to be talking about how you can control your audio through your phone for nothing. So generally speaking, it's not actually for nothing, it's for 12 pound. However, you're not gonna be spending 200 quid on a GoXLR because you don't need one. You have your phone, you've got Touch Portal. We've watched this video right here on how to set up Touch Portal and now we're gonna take your Touch Portal control to the next level. Just before we start, we've got all of our socials flying by here. We've got Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. We go live on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday, and sometimes every other Thursday from 7 till 10.30. We generally speaking play World of Warcraft and like Last of Us and kind of like PlayStation story based games with the occasional horror thrown in. So if you want to come out and check out one of those, please do. Links are all there. They're flying there. Let's do this. So as I said, this is basically a tutorial to show you how to use the voice meter video that we set up here and how to bring that onto your phone using touch portal that we set up here. And this is a very, very, very simple. It wasn't me who made all of these things. So I'm gonna be giving you links to two things. One is a page layout and two is the plugin that you'll need for touch portal for this to work. Before we go down anything, you do need to have the full purchase of touch portal on your device that you're using as a stream deck. It's only 12.99, so it's not a lot of money and it's definitely worth the purchase, especially when you see what we can do with this device, you see? So without further ado, let's jump on the computer quickly show you how to do it. it ain't gonna be long let's go right so once you're on your pc and you've got touch portal installed if you followed our previous video you know how to do this all we're gonna do is go straight to shareportal.gq forward slash resources voice me f forward slash pickle six link will be in the description below you're gonna want to sign up for an account and make an account on here in order to access the download button and all we're going to do is click download and it will download a zip that you need to extract if you get a virus error then just disable your virus temporarily there's no viruses in this once you've downloaded that all we're going to do is click on the wrench up here click on that and do import plugin and navigate to your downloads folder and you'll have a tpp file if you extracted the zip that you just downloaded and this will install the voice meter pickle plugin next you're going to want to navigate to the download links below once again and we're going to add a new page set which is an adaptation of Francois's original page set. But if we're looking back on the video that we did on Voice Potato, you should only need this amount of buttons. So we're gonna to go to Manage, Import Page, and go to your Downloads, and it will be a TPZ file that you're gonna to wanna to click onto. And what you'll see when you click on that is this exact page. So on here, all we have is our mic control, our web control, and our music control, and then an extra one in case uh, you ever wanna buy an additional virtual cable. If we compare this to our voice meter, these are the only buttons that we actually need. So we do a lot of our audio control through A1 and through B2, as you can hear my double voice then. So I've only put on here A1 and B2, A1, A2, A1, A2 as for the following ones because of the way that we set it up if you follow the last video. Generally speaking, you won't have to change any settings on here. Everything is good to go. Just double check that your home button links to your main page that you have and you're pretty much set to go. If you would like the full version of this page set, then I will give you the link as well to Francois's Discord and you can get the more intensive one, which is better for a bigger device. Because I'm using a small iPhone, I prefer to go with the smaller screen. And that is how you install it. And then all you simply do is when you're streaming, click the buttons away and you can control your volume up, down, you can mute it, you can mute everything, play your next song, pause your song, and use it just like a GoXLR. So as you saw, that was really, really easy to do. Install the plugin, download the page set, adjust it to your own thing. So as you saw on my version of it, I deleted a lot of the buttons, mainly because I'm only using quite a small phone. So I wanted to only have what I needed on there, but it's worth keeping a few extra buttons in case you expand your virtual cable collection. So as you saw on my one, I have two virtual cables. I paid for the additional cable usage just so that I could have more control of the audio and split literally everything apart kind of thing. And this just streamlines everything. You've got all the buttons there that you need. Volume up, volume down, reset, home button. You have everything that you'd actually need or want to use on a device. Effectively, the exact same as a GoXLR. And what makes this nice is you're not spending 200 quid for a GoXLR to find out that you never actually really wanted one. You've now gone from being like, I have voice banana, I quite like it. How can I control this a little bit better? To having it on here. And then say you did want to go get a GoXLR one day. Fair play. You can do that. Now you've got the basis on how to control and how the setup would look like for it. However, this kind of streamlines things. It keeps everything on a single device. If you've got a small workspace that you're streaming from, this is all you're going to need kind of thing. And every, everything being on one device and not having a stream deck and a GoXLR on the same desk, taking up all the room, just makes things a little bit more manageable for you. And like I said before, the control that you have over this, literally you click simple buttons and you're 
in full control of your audio and again you're doing it without having to tab out i will literally be playing mid game and just smack out the audio really really quickly be it pausing it turning the volume up for me turning the volume up for the stream muting audio for other people kind of thing and it just works amazingly it's a, it's a, it's a good thing these two apps combined as always all the links in the description below so follow those follow what i just said a minute ago and you'll be well on your way to being a professional streamer but thank you guys for watching today all of our socials once again are flying by here twitter youtube instagram facebook twitch and we go live on twitch on tuesdays wednesdays sundays and every other thursday here and there from 7 till 10 30 playing either world of warcraft playstation story games or horror games so there should be something that you like and on the tuesday and wednesday as well we dedicate that day to stream support so although we're playing games it's world of warcraft it can be put to the side kind of thing and it's a day where i like to have people come in ask questions ask for advice ask for tech advice you get your instant response kind of thing instead of waiting for me to reply to a comment on here kind of thing so if that is something that you're interested in please do come out for that but anyway see you in the next video peace out Bye-bye.